Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my Hello course lesson four. Ryan, to make you see the house, you have to wait for the What class? Hmm. Okay, don't get a lag you. Okay, guys and dear viewers, welcome to our Hello course lesson for today around the world one. Ryan, can you please close the door? Yeah. That door. And also, please do not forget to support the hardship symbols. And as you might aware that this is a time control lesson. It will finish exactly in one hour. Hello, Anarius. Welcome. So we're going to start the lesson in a moment. Okay, so Wani, welcome. Let's move quickly. Today, our lesson topic is uh, sites and landmarks revision. You know, we had the lesson yesterday. Uh, today is the language, public transportation. Can you see the map of London, London Tube Railway? So what kinds of public transportations are available in your city? What form of public transportation do you use the most? How do you get to work or school? Okay, these are the common questions. As you can see the map, that is a London Tube Railway map. And there is a pronunciation, public transportation. Okay, then tram, light rail, streetcar, trolley. Are this above ground or below ground? Can you see the question? Wani and Anarius, are this above ground or below ground? So above ground in London, we call them overground and below ground, we call them underground. So overground and underground. You don't have any question, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay. So railroad, railway. What travels on railroads on railways? Have you ever taken a train? This is the question for both of you, Wani and Anarius. Have you ever made a journey with the train or by train? You travel by train and go to work. One says sometimes. Today I have many disconnections. Okay. Uh, internet problem. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, then railroad. Railway. Railroad. Railway. Subway. Okay. Uh, Subway is subway above ground or below ground? What are the other names for subways? What cities have famous subway systems? Does your city have a subway system? Subway is called in these underground trains in many countries like Canada, the USA and India <laughs> and some uh, European countries as well. But in the UK, we call it underground once again, or tube railway in London. Okay. 
so this is the question for you below ground right when well done so the pronunciation is subway ferry have you ever been on a ferry tell us about it do you know any cities that have ferry system can ferries carry cars wani and anarius malaysia don't have subway okay Malaysia doesn't have it, should be. Because Malaysia is third person singular number, so it should be Malaysia doesn't have any subway. So this question, ferry. Have you ever been on a ferry? Do you know any cities that have ferry systems? Can ferries carry cars? We have ferry system, okay, which carries passengers and the automobiles. That means cars. That's cool. And do you know which city, Wani? Can you please share with our viewers? Okay, um, so the pronunciation is ferry, ferry, okay, so uh, in the UK, we have got ferry system from the UK to go to Paris, okay, and some cities like Portsmouth have got a ferry system to go to Isle of Wight, and ferries carry passengers, cars, automobiles, and many other vehicles. Uh, it connects between Georgetown and Butterworth in Penang. Oh, that's cool. Thank you very much for the information. Okay, next one is ride sharing. What ride sharing companies do you know? Do you use ride sharing? What are the advantages and disadvantages of ride sharing? US Grab, okay. Is that the company in your country, Wani? Okay, that's great. So it looks like you are the only one who is here. No one has joined me. Possibly everyone is busy. However, we'll carry on. Even there is no students, I have to carry on. Okay, pedestrian thoroughfare. Do you know of any pedestrian thoroughfares? Okay, so before we go to the pedestrian, I've got a question for Wani. For the right sharing, what are the advantages or disadvantages? I'm waiting, Wani, to get your answer. Uh, there are some people have joined from YouTube and Facebook. Welcome. Tanmoy Nasiruddin. Thanks for joining here. But no one has joined, unfortunately, from the Facebook. 
uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to get ride sharing in peak hour. It's peak is P E A K, okay, not P W E K or P I C K. Peak hour or late night. Okay, so that's the disadvantage. And what are the advantages? Do you split the fare and the fare becomes less, right? And also, do you feel safe and comfortable to travel with other people? Okay. Next one, pedestrian thoroughfare. I get new friend, oh, that's cool. That means you're so friendly. You're gregarious by nature or sociable. We say sociable or social or amicable. Social, sociable, amicable or friendly or gregarious. That's great. Next in next one is pedestrian thoroughfare. Do you know any of do you know of any pedestrian thoroughfares? Why do cities decide to make streets pedestrian thoroughfares? Okay, possibly don't have any pedestrian thoroughfares. Terminal, station. Very often you use this word, terminal, especially when I'm making, you know, journeys. I'm sure you may have joined many of my lessons through London, Oxford, Cambridge or Essex. And uh, many a time you must have seen this bus terminal. Terminal. Terminal, yeah. Uh, it has got few meanings. This one is a station or terminal. Uh, it has got another meaning, especially when it's a matter of disease. We call it terminal illness, especially in cancer. Like it has got terminal cancer. Okay. It, and also sometimes we say a terminal passion. A terminal passion is one who is seriously ill and will die soon. Uh, we can use this word in a different way. For example, she had a terminal lung cancer. The illness proved to be terminal. We didn't realize that cancer was terminal. Okay. Uh, the next one, which is noun, which is we call station, or train, helicopter, shift, we also use this word terminal. Uh, no problem, warning. So we have just already gone through there. Now this one we are uh, discussing terminal, terminal, and there is a sure sound in terminal. Terminal. So it is not null, terminal, null. A silent or sure sound. So bus terminal, for example. It's uh, an airport is a terminal one, two, three. Like your flight leaves from terminal three or your flight arrives in terminal four. So these are the user examples. So what can you find in a train station? Do you know any famous train stations? This is a question for you, Wani. 
what is the difference between a terminal and a station? Terminal is like main destination. Mm -hmm. And how about station? Okay, so station is like a building or surroundings where buses, trains, or tram stops for people to get on or off like uk railway station and in the us they say railroad station a train station coach station bus station our office is near to the station sorry our office is near the station not near to the station we don't use any preposition after word near so Terminal, you can see their short sound. Station. And also there's another short sound in station. The last row is short sound. Station. Okay. Let's go to the next word. Stand in line. Q queue up do people stand in line where you live where do people often queue up what is the longest time you have stood in a line do you know which is used more in british english yes you must know it warney yes we queue up so do you know which is used more in british english Stand in line is an American English, but we say queue or queue up in the British English. Great. In British English, it's called queue. That's right. Okay, so in the UK we use Q, in the USA they use stand in the line. So stand in line, Q, Q up. Q. This Q is same as the sound Q. So next word is cut in line, jump the Q. Next one is cut in line or jump the Q. Cut in line is the American English. In British English, we say jump the queue. Is it common to jump the queue where you live? Is it considered impolite? How does it make you feel when someone cuts in line? Some people have joined from the Facebook. Welcome, Chen and Muhammad Faraz. Welcome.
it's okay to cut in the line as long as you ask permission maybe people are rushing for something important yes that's right warning So if anyone permits me that you cut in line or you can jump the queue, that is acceptable. But if some times if people object, then in that case you don't or you can't cut in line or jump the queue. Great. Next word. Freeway, highway which road connects to cities which road connects cities with the suburbs or outskirts do you live near nearer a freeway or a highway which road connects two cities which road connects cities with the suburbs or outskirts do you live near a freeway or highway both okay that's great so highway or motorway highway okay so formal for public road special and important road that joins cities and towns together we call sometimes highway or honestly we call highway and sometimes they're called motorway as well two cities highway three suburbs to that sky yes yahoo warning you're a very knowledgeable person so how is that tough you know the photo and uh, freeway the down photo freeway highway Great. We've got 36 minutes more. No worries, let's go a bit slowly. So key vocabulary, tram, light rail, street car, trolley, railroad, railway, subway ferry noun no so there is noun phrase obviously and tram is a noun light rail is a noun phrase street car is a noun phrase trolley is noun railroad compound noun railway compound noun subway noun ferry noun right sharing gerund key vocabulary uh one you let me know if you have to move slowly or not we are at the moment page number 17 and it has got 25 pages pedestrian thoroughfare adjectives plus noun collocation terminal station standing line queue queue up Okay, both queue and queue up uh, can be used as a noun and verb. Queue, noun, queue. Are you queuing? No, I'm not queuing, but I like to queue. I'm in on the queue, for example. Oh, uh, okay, one is Jiran. Let me explain you quickly. When we use ing with the verb and that verb works as a noun, we call it Jiran. For example, walk is a verb, okay? Let me give an example. Walk. If you use ing, it becomes walking. So walking is a good exercise. See, now walking has become a gerund. Any verb that takes ing and works like a noun, we call them gerund like sleeping is good exercise too sleeping is necessary for our growth resting is important for the development 
fighting is not good at all. Okay? And sometimes, you know, when you use ing the verb, we have to remember uh, there is three other situations. One is continuous, another is progressive, and another one is gerund. So we're talking about gerund at the moment. Progressive is when something's going on and continuous when something's happening. So it's the present continuous, future continuous, and the past continuous, verb with ing. But when we use ing with the verb, it becomes like a noun. Only in that case, we call that verb gerund. Is that clear, warning? No problem. So making suggestions and responding. How about stay at the Sofitel Hotel? No, it's too expensive. What about taking the train? No, it's too complicated. Why don't you just walk? Um, no, it's too far and we can't walk. We could always take the ferry to Corfield. No, it's too slow. Shall we get a ride share? No, it's too busy at the time, so you can't get a ride share. So what would be the solution? Let's take the light rail. Yeah, probably. Or let's take a, a taxi or rent a car. So we use suggestion by this expression, how about, what about, or what about. How about you stay at the Sofitel Hotel? Can you make some sentences, Wani, if you're there? How about, what about? How about we have a dinner after work? Mm -hmm. How about have a dinner? It will be better if you use like this. How about have a dinner after the work? Okay, so let's go to the next one. So how about we stay at Sofitel Hotel? How about we, we how about we plus base form? How about we stay at Hotel Canon? Then what about taking the train? What about taking the bus? Or what about taking the underground? Why don't you just walk? Remember, very often, learners are confused with these two words, work and walk. So work is a, should be work. And because in British accent, letter R is silent because of non-rhotic uh, attitude of the letter R, we s use a vowel sound instead of R. So it is work. Okay, long sound, work. And W A L K. This is short sound walk. I'm walking on the road, but I'm working for the government. So that is an important matter to be noticed. Yes, what about shopping? I know that women like shopping. 
So next one is we could always take the ferry to Kofu or we could always take the public transportation to reach our destination. Shall we get a right share? Shall we get the Uber? Or shall we get a you know, private uh, taxi? Or shall we get a rent a car? Let's take the light rail. Let's take it. Okay. Next one is class discussion. Tell us about a long weekend. Task one, find a hotel, restaurants, and two landmarks in your city. Research how you can travel from one place to another. Design a plan for a trip using Google Maps. You have a long weekend, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. You leave Sunday, you want to have a nice hotel, and to find out how far the landmarks are and how long it will take to get there. You want to plan dinner each day. You can eat at the same restaurant more than once. Okay, that's only just a planning one, you can, everyone. Uh, by the way, dear viewers, because it's a hello course, other people can't make any comment. They can come and have a look, and uh, system will automatically remove them after a few minutes. This is the, how the software works here. It is only for my subscribers who have uh, enrolled for this hello course. So if you like to enroll the hello course, please look at the schedules from my account. I have I've updated a few schedules for the hello trial courses. Okay, next one, group session, take task two. Now we are going to discuss all the possible trips. Time, uh, decide which trip you want to go on a, as a group. You all must agree. So there will be group leader. Time, you only have three days and two nights. Interest, you want to visit places that you're interesting, that are interesting, or you are interested food you want to eat delicious food food delicious food is you know the song from uh that movie disney movie sleep you want the hotel to be nice and don't want to spend too much time traveling don't forget do your lesson quiz and you prepare lesson before our next class Okay, that's the lesson part. Let's go to the homework part now. All right. Let's share the homework part. Lesson four, transportation, prepare. One of the things that all humans on earth do is move. We walk to meet our friends nearby. Some of us take subways, trains, ferries, and airplanes to go places further away. People all over the world are moving all the time, traveling from one place to another place to meet people, see new places, and experience new things makes life interesting. Even if we can only travel in our hell around the world coast. And honestly, guys, I like traveling. That's why wherever I go, whenever I go outside, I try to show you and make you in live stream from there. Technology has created so many different modes of transports and behaviors related to travel. We look forward to exploring as transportation around the world with you. Lesson outcomes, objectives. Vocabulary preview. Okay, one in now is your time to take part question one, two, three. Are you still there, Wani? One me. Okay, why don't you dash to Ulan Bata? Do you know where is Ulan Bata? None of us have ever been to Mongolia. Why don't you go to Ulan Bata? Yes. Very good. One B. Question number two, San Francisco is the famous for its dash, buses, trains, trolleys, subways. You have to answer from the photo. 
what does it mean is it a bus or a train or a trolley or subway trains yes it's not subway it doesn't mean it's a subway great well done question number three Moscow is known for its beautiful subway stations lines railways pedestrian thoroughfares three a stations subway stations bravo well done question number four and five Prague has a very good dash system and I used it a lot when I was visiting my friends there. Can you see a ferry, a light rail, a highway, a ride sharing? Which one is correct? Question number four, Wani. Four B. A light rail. Yes, very good. It's not ferry, it's not highway, it's not ride sharing. So the remaining answer is right, light rail, 4B. Question number five, what about dash breakfast first before we head to the train terminal? What's the answer of question five? What about dash breakfast first before we head to the ter train terminal? We said 5D, yes. Well, after what about we use bar with ING? That's great, lovely, well done. Vocabulary, question number six. I was waiting to buy my ticket for the bus when a man dash in line in front of me. I had to wait longer and almost missed my pay bus. So was it a cut, broke? moved <coughs> sorry walked what's your answer question six see cut in line yes or jump the queue some people really do that you know one day i, I tried to jump the queue and someone <laughs> asked me excuse me sir i need to get back we are on the queue so i didn't get the chance to cut the cut in line or jump the queue Okay, next is question number seven. I dash and said we could always take the term to the Galata Tower, but she said no, she wanted to leave early and walk down uh, Istiklal Street. Sorry, not Istiklal. So one second, let me read it. I dash and said, we could always take the tram to the Galata Tower. But she said, no, she wanted to leave early and walk down Stiklal Street. So what would be the answer in this case? Made a request, complained, gave her advice, made a suggestion. Okay, made a suggestion. So I made a suggestion and said we could always take the tram to the Galata Tower. How about request? I made a request and said, yes, it's a suggestion. Well done, Wani. Thank you very much. Question number eight. If you wanted to drive from St. Petersburg to Moscow, we would take dash M11. It would take us seven hours and 43 minutes. Is it a street, a highway, road, or street car? Question number eight. Highway, yes, or sometimes we call highway as a motorway, M11. The M stands for motor in the UK. And in the UK, some highways have letter A at the beginning, it means access, like A12, access 12, A13, access 13, A112, access 112. Some roads are marked like this. Question number nine. I liked using dash when we are visiting Hong Kong. 
the city is very busy and crowded and I feel much more relaxed traveling on the water so is it a tram a ride sharing the ferry the light rail which one is the correct answer you said 9c so I like using the ferry when we are visiting Hong Kong the city is very busy and crowded and we feel much more relaxed traveling on the water that's great okay next one um, question number 10 I love using dash when I travel all my apps like Uber and Lyft worked when I visited Mexico City it made me it, it made it so easy to get around so is it a public transportation a ride sharing rail system pedestrian through thoroughfare 10a 10b um, let me see 10 I love using public transportation uh, I love using public I like using the public transport using that that should be an article actually it missed I love using the public transportation when I travel okay I like using the ride sharing that should be another article I like using the railway system or I like using the pedestrian thoroughfare remember we must use an article because it is specific so you have answered B right sharing all my apps like Uber and Lyft work when I visit Mexico yes those are you know your travel app and you can share your journey with other people so it's a right share well done bravo vocabulary preview question 11 one of my favorite things we did when we visited Barcelona was to spend time on Las Rambalas it is a dash so no cars are allowed and people spend time walking along the tree, tree lined street public transportation ride sharing railway system a pedestrian thoroughfare 11d yes so people have to walk pedestrian thoroughfare bravo we've got 16 minutes more to go cracking on question number 12 many cities in the united states don't have good dash so people living there have to own cars and drive them to get to work go to school and do their shopping is it a public transportation ride sharing programs rail systems or pedestrian thoroughfares 12b uh ride sharing programs um no i don't think that one is the b in this case it's a yes they don't have public transportation in many states bravo well done study tip can you draw if you can drawing the help you remember the words and drawings your vocabulary work if you can't draw try to find the pictures to add your notebook to help you remember great wildland research task find the hotel restaurants and some of the landmarks in a new city hotels.com or tripadvisor.com okay this is the work for you example weekend trip for our trip to Detroit I think we should stay at the Shinola Hotel downtown both nights it's very well reviewed online will be easy to get to landmarks and it's near good restaurants on Friday I think we should visit the artwork of Heidelberg Street there isn't any public transportation that goes there so we'll have to take the right share Google Maps says it will take us about 20 minutes and will cost us ten dollar each way for dinner on friday i think we should eat the famous coney island hot dogs at lafayette it's only a six minute walk from the hotel so how about we walk on saturday we don't why don't you go to the data institute of earth at the dia we can take the q line light rail to the museum it costs three dollar for a day pass so if you see something else on the way there or back 
we can stop and check it out. The museum has many famous artworks, but I'm most excited to see the Diogo Rivera murals. For dinner, let's see it at San Morello, the Italian restaurant at the hotel. I read about it on TripAdvisor. It has great reviews. I checked out the menu and want to try some of the homemade pasta for my main dish. I think I'll have the scallops. Great. Do you know what is scallop, Wani? Have you completed the pre-class activities? Shell. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Vocabulary, expression, landmarks. Mm -hmm. These are some of the photos. Lesson four, transportation. Lesson review. Okay, think about the long weekend trips your group discussed. Which one did your group choose and why? Take some notes here so you remember. So it's a place for taking notes. Quiz, streetcar, trolley, subway, lightway. Why? Which one of the answers questions doesn't belong and why? Okay, question one. One. Streetcar, trolley, subway, light rail. Which one of the answer chooses doesn't belong to the group? That means it is not similar types of words. Trolley, yes, streetcar, subway, light rail, that the like public transportation. Trolley is not the public transportation. Well done. Question number two, how about we drive? No, it's too far. Shall we take a train? Mm, we could always take the subway. And what is the reason why we, have, we can take the subway? One. So once again, question number two, how would we drive? No, it's too far. Shall you take a train? We could always take the subway. So why they're planning to take the subway, Wani? What's the answer? D, we could always take the subway. Suggestion, yes. Uh, driving is too far. So they're suggesting that they should take a subway, which is the underground train. Great, good answer. Stand in line, queue, cut in line, queue up. Which one is not matching here? Stand in line, queue, queue up, cut in line. So we have to find out which one is not matching, cut in line, yes. Stand in line, queue, queue up is always waiting in order according to the time, but cut in line is somebody tries to go before you, jumps off you, okay? Uh, number four, pedestrian thoroughfare, subway, ferry, tram. Which one is the exceptional answer here? Question number four. <coughs> Sorry. Subway. Are you sure? Look, pedestrian thoroughfare, subway, ferry, tram, these all are public transportation. But except the pedestrian thoroughfare where you have to walk, okay? So that is the exception in this case. All right, Oni? Like a quiz again, pedestrian thoroughfare, ferry, that's sharing, cart in line. Question number five. 
How about taking the dash? I like the idea of spending time on the water. This is easy, question number five. Very, that's good. Question number nine. In some cities, there are dash that run on rails on the road and are often powered by wares overhead. Is it ride sharing, cutting line, tram, freeway, terminal, public transportation? Tram, okay, yes. In some cities, there are trams that run on rails on the road and are often powered by wires overhead. That's great, thank you very much. Next one, question six and question 10. I love that Ho Chi Minh City has a dash. It's nice to get away from the traffic. So which one you should choose for question number six? Pedestrian? Okay, yes. That's correct. Question number 10. People save a lot of money when their cities have good dash options. What's the answer of 10? Thoroughfare? Mm -hmm. When you said thoroughfare, public transportation. Yes, public transportation, that's right. Cool, question number seven. I took the dash from the countryside to Cairo. It took a few hours, but the drive was interesting. Uh, 11, I don't know how we travel around the town in the past. I use my dash apps all the time. What would be answer for eight and 12? I'm sorry, seven and 11. So it should be right share, right? Seven and 11. I don't know how we travel around that time in the past, I use my I use my apps, public transportation apps. Question number eight and 12. Um, great, public transport is freeway. Seven is not freeway, no. Uh, I think it should be public transportation. Ah, uh, free could be possible, you're right. From the countryside to Cairo, it took few hours, but the drive was interesting. Yes, freeway. You are right. Thank you very much. How at 11, ride sharing. I don't know how we travel about the labs, but I use my ride sharing apps all the time. Um, is it ride sharing? Is the car correct? Yeah, that is possible. Great, question number eight. I'm always a little sad when I arrive at the dash. It means I'm home and my vacation is over. A man was late to the station, so he asked me if he could dash in front of me. I was happy to help him. How about eight and 12? Terminal, yes. I'm Always a little sad when I arrive at the terminal. It means I'm at home and my vacation is over. Vacation is an American word. What does what does the British English say? What is vacation? American words, US word. To always cut in the line. A man was late to the station, so he asked me if he could cut in the line from me. Yes, that's correct. How about the word vacation is an American word? What do you say in the British English? Okay, so we are almost at the end. 
lesson outcomes it's the end of this lesson do you feel that you have achieved this outcome describe the attributes of street site landmarks hotels and restaurants compare the advantages and disadvantages of different travel plans make suggestions express opinions about what to go and what to do if you don't feel like you have achieved this outcomes yet keep practicing we know you can do this what did you learn lesson review travel alert so welcome everyone we are almost at the end of the lesson four of the around the world hello trial course holiday yes holiday we say it in the british english holiday and americans say vacation so we have chosen 29 destinations from the seven continents anchorage vancouver mexicali st louis boston havana san jose lima fortaleza montevideo dakar addis ababa cape town dublin lisbon oslo moscow athens Muscat, New Delhi, Kathmandu, Kuala Lumpur, Aguacata, Manila, Darwin, Auckland, Seal, Ulaanbaatar, Osaka. These are the 29 destinations. So around the world, one courses, through these courses, we travel around from one place to another. Virtually, and we like to know many things. You see, we have covered lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and lesson four the culture landmarks you know terminals cuisine transportation was at today's lesson all right so if you have any questions warning please ask me if not if when you join my live stream you can ask me there hopefully we'll see you next saturday and sunday 4 30 local time once again dear viewers it's like an ongoing course for eight lessons four weeks and i believe that with this course hello has given opportunity to those students who can't pay their money to enroll the course so these are all free trial courses if you're listening to me you're always welcome to join our fellow hello free courses so go to the discover page choose the, your favorite teacher and the course and enroll to the program and you'll be just starting the lessons and remember that we need to have possibly one us dollar in your course to join and enroll and okay so as long as you are here to learn and develop yourself we have to focus on learning this is an english learning app we have to be respectful to the hello code of conduct policy guidelines and all the teachers and all the live streamers uh, one i was saying that next week we're going to start lesson five and six and after the following week we're going to finish this lesson I have designed and developed a few more courses. Another one is starting from tomorrow. More two, two courses are coming from the next week morning, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. If I don't get enough students, it will be dropped automatically. So thank you very much once again for joining everyone. I hope to see you soon. You take care and bye. I will see you later.